Good time, what you cooking up, my nigga? Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to pop in real quick to let you know that this whole video will not be a complete talk through. I am going back to this bad boy. You guys seem to have loved this video when I first when I first purchased it and brought it to you guys. That video is almost at 20k views. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost at 20k views, so we're going to revisit this. And I do have a wig from Amazon. And you guys, throughout the video, you guys will see where I got this wig from. Everything will be inside. I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys and I'll see y'all in the outro. there <laughs> y'all we're back with another hair install video and you guys this wig i don't even know how to pronounce the name that i got got it in like it's from amazon and it is a prime wig this is a green 10 inch bob lace hair front wig but it's synthetic and if it's all black women any shades any shade any race any color okay and this wig has baby hair it says it bleached the knots are bleached and it's 150 density you guys y'all should know the routine by now i know i don't do a lot of hair tutorials but i use my sephora micro smooth face powder to color the lace in the lace is supposed to be transparent and you guys like I said in the beginning of the video we are revisiting this glue okay so many of y'all asked me to come back and do an updated version of this glue and this glue is called the BMB crazy hole tube glue and it's for lace fronts now one thing I can tell you guys I don't know what I was thinking when I first used this glue few years back but this glue is messy I can say that I done got a little bit more experience with lace glue and stuff and you guys this glue is messy but it did come with the tube of glue a brush and a somewhat popsicle stick but I use my own popsicle stick and as y'all are watching throughout this video of me applying this glue I'm like putting little by little, it's stringy, it's goopy. It almost reminds me of like some type of nail glue or um, like Gorilla Glue type thing. It's very, it's very slimy or sticky. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it, but it is hard to work with. But I can say it gives a great hold. I still stand by that. It does give a great hold when you're applying this. So here I am just massaging the glue into the lace, trying to keep my fingers away from it. And I have learned to lay my lace, my lace front down first and then cut off the extra lace. I'm using the PYT blow dryer that I got in a BoxyCharm Luxie box. I wanna say that was last year, but you guys, I love that blow dryer I use it for damn near everything it is a travel size blow dryer but you guys I use it more than I use my regular blow dryer now I did have to use scissors I have been watching a lot of hair tutorials and everybody used those little nail clipper type of scissors but it just didn't work for me it was too small 
So I had to go in with my regular scissors to cut off that excess lace. And as you guys see that I didn't bring the glue up far enough to where I needed. So I just added extra glue where it's needed to help hold down. And I did try to do like the zigzag type of cutting, but I don't know if I achieved it or not. But y'all, I can say that I nailed this hair tutorial. Like, I am absolutely in love with it. Now, as you can see from ear tab to ear tab, I did mess up a little bit. One ear tab side is longer than the other ear tab side, but I wasn't tripping. I'm still learning and I'm still practicing and I love to practice on synthetic wigs. You hear me? <laughs> <clears throat> So I am going to use this Black Queen styling mousse and I tried to be like the hair gurus and use the styling mousse but y'all that didn't work so well. I tried to make my baby hairs real perfect and real cute and things and I could say I did it but I had to go back to my got to be um, black gel, the black bottle. And I love to keep my baby hairs long because you guys, I'm not perfect at baby hair. So the extra length helps me blend it into the hair. So that's why I keep my baby hairs kind of long, but I don't swoop them really, really big. If y'all get what I mean. And here I am trying to be like the hair gurus, like being real perfect with baby hairs knowing I don't have the baby hairs all the way down, but I tried and I feel like I did I did it to the right T in in my opinion. Y'all let me know down below. One side of my baby hair is always come out good and the other side is always a struggle. It never fails, but here I am putting concealer down that only part that I could. Now the parting on this lace is not deep at all. It's like very, very short, like very short. So I'm gonna tie it down again, go off camera, do my makeup. And honestly, you guys, this part here of me doing my makeup and unwrapping it here was like two days later because I wanted that lace to actually melt into my skin. So I left it tied up for like two days, which you guys don't have to. I would say only let it lay down for maybe an hour and you'll get this result. Now I'm showing y'all the back of my hair to show y'all how thick the wig is. It doesn't show any of the tracks. The bob cut is really freaking cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below and I will get y'all in the outro. Love you. All right, so you guys heard throughout the voiceover that this hair is almost a phenomenal synthetic wig that I got off of Amazon. I will have the stock card and everything, all the information down below in the hot box. I always have things down below in the hot box as well as my Amazon storefront, which is always down below waiting for you guys to just click it and run through the things that you want or need. And you guys, this wig here is in my Amazon storefront. I didn't think I could pull this little lime green wig off, but y'all, lime green is my favorite color. If you guys did not know, this wig turned out pretty good. Like I said, it is a synthetic wig and all, but you guys, this bob is like fire. Okay, for once, like, took my time and watched a lot of install videos on synthetic hair and human hair to, like, really get the concept of how you actually apply wigs and cut them and all that stuff when it comes down to the lacing. And I feel like I smashed this one. Like, I told y'all I was going to revisit it, and I'm here revisiting this glue now as you heard in the voiceover i don't know what i was thinking when i first tried this glue like years ago but it is pretty freaking messy now what i can say another trick to that lace glue you guys when you hold your hair down with the tie hold it there for at least a few hours and it melts really really good guys check down below in the hot box for this nice ass 
bomb ass synthetic wig from Amazon. Like, guys, let me know what you think down below in the hot, not the hot box, down below in the comment section, and let me know if you still think you should pick this this glue up. Now, I do want to try other glues. I don't think that that's gonna be my holy grail glue, but. I'm gonna keep it this time instead of throwing it out. And I will be back to do another video. When I go to take down this wig here, it is gonna be to show you guys how to take down and how easy or hard the process is to take down the wigs from this exact glue. So hopefully y'all hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so that you will be notified when I drop that video. You guys let me know down below what you think, what your thoughts are, will you try this glue? Did I do a good job in revisiting the glue and laying this wig? I mean, y'all let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed, and in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining, and I will catch y'all in my next upload. <laughs> Deuces.